Right now, when the DOT has a road project, it bids out the design of the road project and the construction of the project separately. Governor Walker's budget would create an alternative where the company that eventually builds the road would be the same company that designed it. This is called design build. Governor Walker hopes this change will be more cost effective and that design build will help stretch our transportation spending further without raising the gas tax. We'd like to be able to uh, have, a, have a, um, a say in the design. By us, we've seen a lot of different road jobs. We've okay. seen and some of them, we scratch our head and say, you know, why are they doing this? That's what their designer thought needed to be done. We've seen it done these other different ways. Hoffman Construction in Black River Falls fully supports that model because it believes it can design more efficient roads at more competitive prices. From the beginning, I start focusing on cost because cost is one of the features of the um, award. The only award to you if you have the low combination of technical score and cost. Jim Hoffman traveled to Madison in March to tell state senators about the savings Wisconsin could see with road projects. He's seen it firsthand on projects he's worked on in Minnesota. From our experience, um, we save about 5% by being able to submit alternative designs, the alternative technical concepts. And we also see that because it's lump sum, we bear the risk of cost overruns. Minnesota has seen it's anywhere from a 4 to 5% savings in project growth from the time the contract is let to the time the contract is finalized. So when you sum those up, it's anywhere from a 7 to 9% savings. Wisconsin is one of only four states that does not use design build for road projects. That could change depending on what the state legislature does with the governor's budget proposal in the next few months. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.